The Great Potu, scientifically known as Nyctibius grandis, is a nocturnal bird that lives mostly in tropical America, ranging from Central America to South America. This owl-like bird is spotted in large numbers in places such as Guatemala and Mexico, and they are also found in far-off places such as Bolivia and Brazil. Before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified for more amazing pets content. With that being said, let's begin. The great potu is the biggest among all birds in the potu species, and they are also the largest among the nightjars and other related birds. Here are some interesting and exciting facts of the great potu bird that you should be aware of. You may already be aware of some of these facts, but a few facts are surely going to surprise you. Number 9. Relation to Spookiness We already told you that the great potu is not a very pleasant looking bird. With its huge head, large eyes and bright colored iris, it is a strange looking bird. This is the main reason why it is part of the spooky folklore stories in the Central and South American regions. Their unique all-night moan is believed to be the sound of a spirit. Due to their huge size and strange features, the Great Potu usually finds its name listed on the world's weirdest or scariest birds. Number 8. Closed Eyes Vision This one is surely going to surprise you. The Great Potu bird can see even if its eyes are closed. This is because they have very thin openings below their eyelids, with the help of which they can spot any type of movement near them without any difficulty. This is also one of the major reasons why they easily pounce on their prey, even while the latter is blissfully unaware of the presence of the potu around it. Number 7. Lazy Hunters Unlike most other birds, the great potu doesn't set out to hunt for its prey. It is quite lazy, and it keeps perching on a branch patiently waiting for its prey to come near. Since its physical appearance forms a perfect camouflage within the environment, the prey, usually a bug, beetle, small bird, or occasionally a bat, doesn't notice the presence of the potu. As soon as they spot the movement of prey near them, they pounce on it and return to the same branch to feed on them. During the day and the night, a potu is seen perched on the same branch only, without much movement in its body. Number 6. Not Gregarious you can never witness the great potu living in groups. They are loners and they love their privacy. They don't mate with other birds of their species frequently. Their lazy nature might have to do something with this character though. They are very mysterious and they love to remain hidden. They never wish to come out in the open when they are hunting for food. Number 5. Egg Hatching Period When the male and female potu birds mate, they take great care in ensuring the protection of the egg. There is only one egg at any given point in time in the nest of the potu. When there is an egg in the nest, you can spot the male and female bird hovering around the nest to incubate it safely. After about a month, a chick hatches from the egg, and it remains in the nest for about two months until it comes out to perch on the branches. This is quite surprising, because the chicks of most of the land birds come out of their nests within 10 days itself. When we talk about nest here, we don't mean the proper nests that birds usually build. The great potu bird's nest is nothing but a secluded corner on a branch or stem. Number 4. Very Big Mouths Don't judge the size of the great potu bird's mouth by looking at its beak. Though these birds have very short and broad beaks, they have a gigantic mouth that helps them catch small insects and bats during the night. When the bird opens its mouth to let out its night-long moaning sound, you can see a wide expanse of the area within its jaw. Number 3. They don't belong to a single species. The great potu, or the Nyctibius grandis, doesn't belong to a single species only. They are one of the species from the big family of Nyctibidae. These birds are near passerine birds, another word for tree-dwelling birds, and are one of the seven species in the genus Nyctibius. Apart from the great potu, the other six species are rufous potu, long-tailed potu, white-winged potu, Andean potu, common potu, and the northern potu. The main differentiating factor between the great potu and the other species is the unique night moan that this bird lets out. Number 2. Size Dimensions The great potu is quite huge, as it grows to an average length of around 19 to 24 inches. The maximum weight of this bird is around 23 ounces, and its maximum wingspan is a massive 32 inches. In spite of its huge size, 
It is tough to notice this bird because it hides itself wonderfully among the jungles and the twigs of trees. Number 1. They are ancient. Though the great potu bird is commonly found in Central and South America these days, it is believed to have lived all over the world during the prehistoric times as well. A valid proof of this fact is the potu fossils of the ancient times that were collected from places such as France and Germany. Since they have been living on this planet for so many years, it is no surprise that they have mastered the art of living hidden in the woods. Tell us in the comments below which fact about potu birds that surprised you the most. Bringing you more value per minute than any other pets channel out there, or at least trying to. We would appreciate if you at least like or share this video. That would mean the world to us.